Okay, so I'm going to show you how to open up an Idea Center AIO uh, 510S-23ISU. So you're going to need a uh, pry tool, thin pry tool, something like this. And then you'll need a Phillips um, screwdriver. Um, this is a PH, or it's not even a PH, but I guess you can use like a larger Phillips screwdriver. Just to make sure this is a 3.5, but this one's like... That. Okay, so first what you want to do is remove the screws from the bottom. There's one on this side and then one on this side. Um, it's very difficult to pry apart, um, but yeah, you just want to be careful with the screen. So first what you want to do, if you notice, there's actually like a little space here. So you can kind of start the tool in there. And then usually you just put the tool in and then pull it back this way. All right. So go that way, you'll hear it click, just like that. All right, there's several clips along the, the back. Um, they actually put clips all the way around, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult to show a close up of, but let me see if I can. But basically, you go around this, okay, just like that. You can actually see where the clips were, all right, see? So just go all the way around, just like that. Okay, once you release all these clips, so you'll actually lift it from this side. Um, this side will kind of stay, and then once you raise it up like that, you can wiggle this out. So start with this side, and just kind of pull on it hard. All right, go along the edge like this. All right, once you get that, what you want to do is lift this, and then pull it pull it this way so when you pull it like that you see it releases those clips at the bottom okay I did this one so it's coming out a little bit easier than normally so it might be a little more tough when you do it but yeah basically you pull it like that you see and then this one comes out that way so now that you have that you can actually see the clips I already took out the screws for the panel but let me show you the clips here Alright, now you can see the clips for the panel here. The clips are like these open hole clips, and there's the screw hole. Okay, so the clips are just like that, you can see. Alright, so once you remove that, um, what you want to do is remove the screws from the bottom. So there's four here holding the stand, so I'll just remove the stand first. All right. So once you remove those four, you can remove the stand. Okay. So I took the screws out from the bottom already, but there's one here, one here, two, three, four, and then there's one hidden one here, five. Once you get all of those out, you can grab this middle plate and just kind of wiggle it and pull it up. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's stuck. It's caught on all these connectors, so just be careful with it. Don't use too much force, so you can damage something. So, got this out earlier. I wonder why it's caught now. Oh, you probably have to click this thing up. Maybe that's in the way. Yeah, yeah, that was in the way. So these things were getting caught under this. So make sure you reveal these um, USB ports on the side. Okay. So now you can see they use a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Um, there's a wireless antenna here. It goes all the way. The wireless cards here, and then another antenna is going up here. All right. You can see all these connectors. Okay. This is for the power button. And I think that's, what is that, a reset button? Yeah, it's probably like a reset button or their recovery button. Okay, so there's the two buttons here. Then you got the DC jack cable, I believe. Um, it's hard to follow all these because they kind of hide them underneath. But the charge port, actually the charge port is soldered on. So let's see, where's that going? Uh, let's see, so... This has the camera and two USB ports. 
There's the speaker cable, which runs over here with the other speaker cable, connects here. Then the fan cable here, got the heat sink for the CPU. CPU soldered on so you can't upgrade it. There's one stick of RAM that you can change. Um, does it show the model? Here you go. So this is DDR4, 8 gigs. Alright, so you can see that. Okay. I'm not too sure what this connector is for. Let's see. I mean, it looks similar to like what a keyboard connector would be. Maybe it's actually, this is most likely for the screen. Oh, this is actually for the hard drive. So this, since I don't see anything else going to the screen, that must be the screen cable. I've never seen them use a cable like that for the LCD. But, uh, yeah, looks like the LCD, maybe LCD and touch screen. And then that's pretty much it. There's not too much in here. Um, but yeah, you can upgrade the RAM and you can change the hard drive to an SSD and then the rest pretty much you can just see from all the screws um, Shouldn't be too difficult to remove if you had to um, So this is my customer's computer um, I don't want to take it apart more than I have to um, They basically wanted me to try doing some data recovery on their hard drive um, It was doing some weird thing where it kept wiping out their drive so Yep if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, putting it back is kind of difficult as well. You have to do the same thing. Just remember, you want the side with the buttons to go down first, and then you just snap it all the way around. Um, to be safe, I would do this on like a flat ground or something, so that way you don't, when you put pressure on this, you don't actually like flex the screen too much. You don't want to damage the screen. But that's pretty much it. Uh, hope this helped you. If it helped you, um, please help me out by liking and subscribing. Um, and if this really helped you, um, you can even consider donating. Uh, my payment and stuff information is all in my video uh, about me information. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.